What's going on guys? I've got a 2006 F-250 here, and I'm using this truck to point out to you the location of the three important starter fuses and the one starter relay. I'm also gonna give you some troubleshooting steps for what to check when your truck is not starting. Everything's gonna be behind this cover here, which we remove by just pulling down here, and then you can let that drop. The next thing for us to remove is the fuse box cover which we do by pulling down on this piece here. Now there are three starter fuses. This is what's called the ignition switch fuse. This is the starter solenoid fuse. And this is the starter fuse right there. The relay for the starter is this relay right here. And I'll tell you right now, my favorite way to troubleshoot this system is I'll turn the key to the start position and hold it there. And while I'm holding that there, I'll just tap lightly on that relay. I can also grab it and wiggle it. Relays sometimes get stuck and sometimes just the act of tapping on it can cause it to free up. So if you tap on your relay and it starts after that, then you know this relay might be going bad. After that, what you can do is remove the relay and you can swap in a different relay. This would be a great relay to swap in because it's not used often, this is for the trailer. So you can put this relay there. And if after doing that your truck starts, then you know that the relay was probably the issue. After that, you got to get a little more in depth to it. So let's talk about troubleshooting the system. It all starts with the ignition fuse right there. That is a 30 amp J case fuse that sends power to the ignition switch. If you do want to remove it, you just grab it with needle nose pliers and pull it out. So when that fuse is working properly, it sends power to this ignition switch. When you turn this ignition switch all the way to the start position, it sends power to the starter relay through this fuse right here. So this fuse, if it's not blown, should send power to the starter relay when the key is turned all the way. And you can actually test your ignition switch. There's exposed metal here on the fuse and you can measure to see if you have power present at the fuse when you're turning the key to start. If you never see power at this fuse when you're attempting to start the truck, you may have a bad ignition switch. So let's take a look at the pins on this. That power coming from the ignition switch shows up at this pin. So you should measure power here when you're attempting to start the truck. The relays also require a ground to get activated and the ground comes in from the computer through this pin. The computer only provides a ground there if the truck is in park or in neutral. So if you never see a ground here, you may need to get a scan tool to communicate with the computer to see what the problem is. You may have a bad neutral safety switch. Now when this relay is activated by the ground here and the power here, what it does is it takes power from the starter solenoid fuse, which is present at this pin, and it sends that power to the starter on this pin. So what that means is if you wanna test the starter circuit directly, you can bypass the relay just by momentarily connecting these two pins together with like a wire or maybe even a paper clip. Um, if, you, if you do that, then the engine should crank over. Um, be careful when you're doing that, make sure that nobody has their hands anywhere near, um, you know, anywhere near the engine or anything like that. Um, that's just a troubleshooting step to see if the starter itself is good. And of course, you'll want to check your battery connections as well. Make sure they're clean and tight. So yeah, I hope this information was helpful for you in troubleshooting the starter on your F-250. Please let me know if you have any questions, or more importantly, if you have any advice that may help other people who are running into issues. Thanks for watching.